what we really wanted to do was to tr try to provide wherever possible some certainty in the face of a lot of uncertainty. So we knew that we had some things that we could control on campus and some things that we weren't necessarily gonna be able to control. The way that our students experienced classes was something that we could control. You know, like, where do you learn this? Right. Like, as, yeah. as, and again, again, we're guilty, we're K-12 at heart, yeah. but I think it applies to everybody. Like, where did we learn or how do you learn instead of, unless you're just being constantly sent to professional development opportunities right. that are focused on instructional design or, or digital and online blended learning. Like there's right. just not, that's just not happening. So and it's what like, an oppor how? <laughs> I mean, and what an opportunity, right? Like, so we, we have, <laughs> we tried to do a lot of this on our own, I think. Um, <laughs> and, and probably poorly for uh, Well, sure. Yeah. I don't necessarily know if we did it the right way. <laughs> as long uh, as I don't ask you what your Twitter handle is, we'll be fine. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Cause she don't know. Uh, <laughs> she don't know. Still don't know. <laughs> What's like, Twitter? Um, Carrie. Some, I think there's a number on it. No, no, I, I think my name remember. might be in it, and a number. <laughs> Just yeah. the most important number in my life. <laughs> Classic. I, we were tiptoeing dangerously close to finding out how Carrie puts together all of her passwords. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Did you, I thought well, we were going down that road. It started out that way. Yep. I was like, oh, yep. so it's a number. I use it with all of the, I start everything. And I was I mean, like, I was thinking, man, we're going to get her password. You wouldn't be wrong. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I'm trying to figure. Out. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna crack the code right here. Um, okay, her kids' names mm, are. Right. <laughs> I love a good exclamation point. Let's... Behind the scenes footage. Yeah. The outtakes. That's what I, exactly. That's the what best I, the best content is is what we say before we actually start. So I like uh, when I gave away my password. <laughs> right. I was hoping. I was hoping. Red alert. Oh um, man. Obviously, nothing incriminating. But all right. Let's see. <clears throat> Tips and tongue, lip the lips. <laughs> Mommy okay. made me mash my M&M. Toe, Joe, Remy. Ta, 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 target, 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 target. Okay. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> and so we're just so excited about this program and this ability to offer free coaching sessions to um, educators out there. Um, before this busy fall start season and search the community. And it's made me sound really smart when I'm working with teachers and I haven't <laughs> always had the answers. Not so secret <laughs> secrets here on the Canvas Casters podcast. I can't keep plants alive. My last name is Gardner and it's really sad. Oh, I don't think boots. I can garden and I can't. Oh, man, that's embarrassing. Very man, that is, that is bad. Gardner. Well, I oh, can't man. paint, so. Oh, well, see what works. I did there? So, uh, I don't know what a hallet is, so Lindsay, I, was I don't say, know. But I can hallet. <laughs> that sounds... Time for bed. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Uh, let me get my get my mind right. Get my I, I probably need my cheaters. I'm putting my cheaters on so I can read. <laughs> get them under Wait, the get them under the earphones because I am of that age. I, uh, I, I used to fail my eye tests in elementary school so that I could get classes. Yes. I Why? definitely did that. I definitely did. Because well, my, my, both my parents had it and I, I was really into baseball and major league was a big movie. I watched and all these scene and that like all of a sudden got better as a pitcher once he was wearing these weird glasses. So uh -huh. wild thing. Right. My vision That's right. Of, uh, a dream. You're like, man, I bet I can throw baseball faster if I'm wearing some specs. Yep, yep. And all of a sudden, I heard a dad say, is that the teacher? He looks like the kind of guy that keeps cold cuts in his car. I think it was a compliment, though. You know, like, I'm likable. I'm lovable. Hell, I'm lunchable. <laughs> we had different challenges. For example, uh, how many times could we get Miss Antinas to cry during Spanish class? <laughs> Or like on half days, like how many how many plates of food could you eat in one sitting at the Golden Corral buffet? Twenty four. Um, <laughs> <woo! laughs> <Woo! Yeah. laughs> Outstanding. My face hurts. He says, "Say less." So I was like, "All right." I didn't talk to him for two weeks after that. I'll say nothing. All right, buddy. I'll say nothing. That's and that rude. just means like, it, that's what I took it as. But then I talked to the other comments. He's like, dude, that just means like, 
he, he hears what you're saying. Like, yeah, like, I got you. Don't worry about it. Say less. You don't have to say yeah, anything more. Say, oh, <laughs> so we meant it like we're on the same wavelength. And I was like, all right, buddy, you know what? We're just not going to talk anymore. Uh, right. Like, I, you sound like a sultry R&B singer. Uh, that's the first time I've ever heard that. But I'm, I'm going to own it. You're welcome. I'm putting it on I was right, like, right right throw that on your LinkedIn, cause yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, you're welcome. That's all I'm gonna say. You know, that's I've not been called that. I'd take that for sure. <clears throat> Tips and tongue, dip the lips. Ah, ah. This is always the hard part for me. Ah, blah, blah. Okay. All right, we're fine. What before we get into the episode? A new friend has entered the chat. Her name is Shelly Ruff, and Shelly is co-hosting with me today. Ow! Ooh! Ah! Yeah! Uh, one of the things that we were identifying was accessibility is this great thing we talk about, and we can talk about the theory of it. We can talk about like the vision of what it looks like in our class, um, but there's no action. There's no like, uh, this is how you do it. And, and that was one of our main goals is just giving you easy takeaways for you in your, in your class. You can change these seven things. You can make it part of your editing process and um, just really trying to make the, you know, the water's warm. Come on in. Let's, 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 let's do this thing. You know, I pivot, you know, if you're a friend, right? you know? friends is on all pivot. day, every day on like TBS. I heard from a friend. High five, air five, right? Air yeah. five on that. Um, we got great teachers. Why are we paying someone else's teachers? Like that doesn't make any sense. So say it loud for the people in the back. We have great to? teachers. We don't need to pay somebody else to come up with our content. We have our own content experts. Okay, sorry. Exactly. No, that, that's, a, that's what I'm hoping we're saying, right? Everybody was like, oh my gosh, sweat a weather. And, and people were buying pumpkin spice lattes <laughs> like everywhere. All my grocery stores is pumpkin every, Shelly, you, you're down with sweat a weather? Fall. And all the pumpkin. I have a question. Yeah. I've been listening to this show for a long time. And uh, yeah, actually, so that first that first episode was, was it started when I took over as the campus admin in the district. So it was <laughs> so impactful in my learning process. And Chris Giles, man, like him dropping knowledge on like one of those first couple episodes taught yeah. me so much about um, being an admin. So I appreciate him. Um, is the canvas backpack still a thing? You know, uh, <laughs> you know, I... I have, I, you know what? I've lost my way, Aaron. I appreciate you bringing, <laughs> I, I appreciate you bringing that. I'm going to, uh, you know, it is. Sasha and I, you we prepped prep for this. Yes. Right, okay. 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 Everybody buckle up. We're off script people, but we're getting back on script. Let's go. I love it. I love it. See that right there. That's how, you know, Aaron's an OG. Cause he's like, bruh, bruh, you've been doing this for like almost three years. Where we at on the canvas backpack? So here it is. Every episode, we like to ask our guests, "What is in your canvas backpack? What's that one thing in canvas that you just can't live without?" Aaron, I feel like, I feel like we need like a walk-up song. I feel like after that intro, John needs like a walk-up song, and then like we start. I, I like it, John. Yeah. What do you think? I'm putting you on the spot. You said, you mm -hmm. said we can riff. So we I'm ready. Right. What's your walk-up song? You had a walk-up song, and you were just dropping it, like think. And if it doesn't come now, and it might hit later, be like, I got it. This is my song. Wow. Coming. Yeah. Hmm, what pumps me up? Uh, geez, I don't know. I mean, there, there's like so many different directions I could take that. Uh, I, I think that the energy that I want to bring to the table today might just be a little bit of careless whisper with some saxophone playing. You know, <laughs> like instrumental. I like that. Yeah. There we go. Absolutely. Michael's going to do it for us. Perfect. <laughs> good, good this is the whole episode, uh, folks. Good. <laughs> oh, good. good. And I'm getting those copyright permissions to use that in the podcast. Uh, <laughs> That'll be on the cutting room floor, people. I feel like Marcus and I should be good friends because I have the exact same feeling about Canvas as well, is I want to try to break all of the things just to find out where are the boundaries. And what I found is those boundaries are really stretched pretty far out from, you know, if you just read a feature list, um, it doesn't really capture everything that Canvas can potentially accomplish. She just busts out my favorite small fact that I think I've learned in my entire time working in health education. And she just asks me, do you know how you treat a giraffe with an eye infection? 
and I'm thinking, is this I, a joke? What, I, what, I absolutely what? don't. I have no idea. No. What is idea. the what is the punchline here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, exactly. And no idea what was going to come next. And she shares with me the what I still think is the most amazing detail that I've ever heard. Um, apparently, because a giraffe's neck and its head is its weapon, it'll swing it if it it feels threatened. You can't really get that close to its face. And so the correct way to treat a giraffe with an eye infection is actually with a super soaker uh, water gun and you dilute <laughs> your serum of antibiotics based on what you think your accuracy is going to be shooting a giraffe in the eye from the ground. Stop it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> she swears it's true. Uh, and, you know, it, it could be I, I don't think she's having a go at me. But uh, as we talk about our kids moving on from, you know, from middle school or high school, right? We think about those skills that they're going to apply beyond the classroom. Canvas has really contributed to improving those soft skills. Uh, they're collaborating via discussion boards, uh, collaboration in Canvas, right? Um, they're uh, working on their teamwork, using the groups in Canvas, right? Building those relationships to solve problems. They're communicating, as I mentioned, with their teachers, but with each other in one platform. And they're understanding the importance of checking for communication. And finally, that critical thinking. You know, we've been able to integrate Google LTI, you know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, OneDrive LTI, everything into one platform that is allowing our kids to use those skills that they're learning now and that they're going to be able to use in the future. For those tuning in, we were talking earlier. I'll say backstage. That sounds super cool. We were talking backstage <laughs> before the show. Uh, it all comes down to really overcoming the odds. I want to thank you for spending a little bit of time with us today. Uh, I hope that your day is going to be as awesome. Matt, mm -hmm. yours is, you're, you're going to have to figure this out tomorrow. You probably <laughs> don't <know> <laughs> I don't know what time it is there, but my day is going to be amazing. And probably my week is going to be even better because of this conversation with you guys. And uh, as we uh, continue down uh, the road uh, of education, I, I'm feeling good that folks like you are, are you know shoulder to shoulder with us so i appreciate you guys taking the time this is the part of the show where i have to do that ron burgundy thing and do my exercises <laughs> tick tock tick tock pinocchio peter piper pick -up, pick -up, pick -up, pick -up. see i can't even do it we as instructor employees no longer are able or capable of saying instructor we can't it's like I, it's always one or the other and it's never the right one at the right no. time. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm with you. Tell me you're a member of the Canvas fam when your autocorrect automatically corrects instructor or to instructor because you yes. type it so often into your device. Yep. Oh, yeah. my gosh. That is that's the shirt right there. <laughs> that is the T-shirt. All of our conversations had been so previously siloed where you had the academic advisor talking about academics. You had your academic support systems in place talking about tutoring and referrals and, and success initiatives. And then you had your career center who was talking about exploring options and, and job outlook opportunities and national credentials that would align well to that career field. For me, all of the resources that we are Framing is all about kicking down those silos and bringing everyone to the table. And even when we think everyone is there and everyone has a vested interest, we keep one more seat open because there might be one other member that we have not even considered that 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 needs to have a place and a space to share their thoughts and share their opinion, whether that's a, a student, a parent, a, a community member, a, a volunteer organization. Don't put an hour long video lecture in your course. Right. You got to chop it up. And <laughs> oh, put, my God, and I want to hug you. I want to hug you through the, through the cyber space. I want to give you a big hug and a hearty yeah. handshake. But I think the challenge with the word accessibility is people don't understand that it's for everyone, yeah. not just for people in need of these specific yeah. things. <laughs> and the more accessible your content is, the more <laughs> the more accessible it is to everyone. So um, yeah. <laughs> they allow for the people in the back. I mean, at the end of the day, learner engagement is learner engagement. There are some customizations based on the age and the digital literacy level of the learner and the modality obviously involved there. But to me, student engagement is is really indicative of how a person is motivated to do something. This is the, the, Shelly's laughing because this is when I have to like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had to do like so, the anchorman thing. Yeah. <laughs> Tips and tongue, teeth and lips. <laughs> what somebody's walk up song would be like you're walking up. What's your song that you would choose 
but like people are like oh someone's coming or oh Jen's coming um my walk-up song um I would probably be something rap related and I think it would be Little Wayne uproar Jen Jen did you get a chance to think about yours what's your yeah I'm gonna go a little further back in the archives um I'm going to go Led Zeppelin immigrant song. And Ooh. I feel like it fits today because we're in Salt Lake City in the middle of a blizzard. So I do come from the land of ice and snow. So I would I would choose immigrant song. Yes. <laughs> Those are good. Um, Way better than I would have come up with <laughs> off the cuff, by the way. <laughs> can, I, can we flip that back, though? What would you two pick? Oh. oh. See, that's the problem. I just, I just, you you got me on the spot. I'm supposed to put the people on the spot. I you know. don't put me on the spot. It would be Backstreet Boys. I want it that way. Mm. Ooh, Ooh, nice. It That's just would. good. Just That's would. Good. Like, I will drop everything to sing karaoke Backstreet Boys. You're welcome for that, Marcus. You didn't see that coming, did you? Again, <laughs> I, my brain, you don't understand how simple I am. All I can do now is hear your walk-up song in my head. <laughs> Uh, my walk-up song, I think, would be uh, Lupe Fiasco. All right. Already the show goes on. All right. Blah, oh, yeah. blah, 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 blah. That uh, one. That one's great. Did you see that all one. of our heads at the same time go, huh? <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. We know that my singing skills aren't great, but it was good enough for you to at least identify the song that I was, that was walking that was up good. to. Um, You'll see, again, it's really rooted in the problems that we're solving for our customers um, and what's going to have, you know, the most benefit at the end of the day. And so you can see these themes that we've organized them into, right? So what are the kind of the outcomes that we're hoping for for our users? And you can see that that's aligned across the whole platform. Um, and then you can dig into each one of those themes and then, then again by product. So what's really cool about this is it's an interactive roadmap so you can get to the information that's most important to you. What we're able to do here is provide that vetted content that is always up to dated. Uh, uh, up to dated? Try English, Marcus. Uh, you don't ever see pillows, right? Like embroidered with, I have plenty of time, you know, right? Said no teacher ever, right? Like, I think that that would be a good Christmas gift if anyone's into like cross stitching. The only educators I know of that show up like 8 a.m. or 7 a.m. and just like, I don't know what we're doing today, but we're going to do some stuff. We're going to get some learning. We're going to do some of the learning. I don't know what we're doing yet, but we're going to do it. That The only people I see that are like that are on TikTok. The rest of the natural teaching world, pre-K through higher ed and beyond, are planning and forming the instruction, right? It, it, it may not be a classroom full of seventh graders. It's a classroom full of educators. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a poet. and but the, but the approach is the same, right? The approach is the same. Data or data? Oh, uh oh. I'm going with data. I uh, mean, too. But then I, and I hear it and I, maybe I'm saying it wrong. And then I do what the other person's doing and that felt weird. So I, I think I, I think I say data, but then I also think I say data. It might just be, I might go back and forth. I honestly don't know. I have to I rewind it and said. see what I said. I don't even know. Okay. <laughs> no, if, it, if data is good enough for Star Trek, it's good enough for me, right? Fair like, enough. High five, Jen. I would say the same <laughs> thing. Totally. Okay. All right. This is me. GIF or no, we're no, no, not going there. Not going there. We're not going there today.